This is a very brief introduction to Wharton Research Data Services, so what's more commonly called WARDS. The, one of the main things to know about WARDS is that it does limit access. So uh, the types of accounts that are available, uh, there's accounts available faculty, uh, master students, so if you're an MBA student, you can request an account. Uh, people like myself, and then these other uh, people are uh, eligible to get an account for wards. Now, normally undergraduates do not have access to uh, wards. However, uh, some professors can request undergraduate class accounts. The thing to remember about these is there are, there's a limit on the number of simultaneous users and therefore limited time only. So I think of WARDS, this is the home page for WARDS once you log in, as the interface. And within that interface, uh, CSU MB has access to different subscriptions, different database subscriptions. So the two big databases you should be aware of are, there's CompuStat, capital IQ, and that focuses on financials, so North America, and there's also international coverage uh, that uh, doesn't go as far back, starting from 1987 to the present. The other big database is this one here, and this is commonly referred to by its acronym, uh, pronounced as CRISP. And that focuses on st stock data, and it goes back quite far in time, so back to the 20s. So Wharton Research Data Services is listed among the library's list of databases towards the bottom. Once you click on that link, it'll take you to the login page. So this is where you would enter in your username and password. So undergraduates with class accounts, you have an undergraduate class account username and password. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about this home page is if you're interested in getting access to WARDS, you can request an account by clicking on that register link that's at the top right hand corner. Uh, first time users, you'll need to accept the terms of use agreement. And once you do that, then you get into the home page. So this is about as far as I wanted to take this video. It's just a brief introduction. I'll close with mentioning uh, that once you are, have done using wards, be sure to click on that log out link that's at the top right hand corner. And if you do have questions, feel free to contact us here in the library and we'll be happy to try and help.